Okay, welcome back to our channel. Um, we are gonna do 8.1, ready, set, go, number two. And here are the directions. It says, find the exact perimeter of triangle ABC. On which segment did you need to use the distance formula? So whenever they say this word exact here, they mean don't round. So let's say your answer has a square root in it. They don't want you to plug it into the calculator. And here I'm going to use the distance formula, but based on the Pythagorean theorem and not the actual formula, if that makes sense. So I just think it's easier to use the distance formula comes from the Pythagorean theorem. And so I'm actually going to use where it came from rather than the actual formula. So the very first thing that I need to do is the Pythagorean theorem says, so here's your Pythagorean theorem. So in a right triangle, you get leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared. And I like to do leg squared plus leg squared equals hypotenuse squared, not a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Because whenever I do that, my students tend to put the side that they're missing in the hypotenuse. And that's not necessarily true. In this case, it will be true, but not in every case. And so I just want you to be aware of that. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to find as many sides of that right triangle as possible. So I say, hey, how long is this side here? And you're like, oh, well, that's easy. That's three because you just counted. And they said it exactly. Okay. And then how long is this side here? And you say, oh, that's four. And they say, perfect. And they say, hey, how long is this side here? And you're like, uh, we can't count those, Ms. Johnson. You told us not to count those. And I say, exactly. So we can't count them. So because we can't count them, then I will have to use the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to put my pieces in there. So just as a reminder, this side is called your hypotenuse. And the reason why it's called your hypotenuse is two reasons, but they go back to the same thing is number one, the hypotenuse is the longest side of the triangle of a right triangle. So if your answer comes out as like two, you did something wrong. The second reason why it's called the hypotenuse, and it's the same reason, is because it's always going to be opposite across from your 90 degree angle. So in triangles, just know that the biggest angles are always opposite or across from the longest sides and vice versa, meaning the longest sides are always going to be across the biggest angle. Okay, so then that means all I have to do is plug in. Yes. So three squared plus four squared is my hypotenuse squared. 3 squared is 9, uh, 4 squared is 16 equals hypotenuse squared. This is 25. So when I take the square root of this, don't forget your plus or minus, the hypotenuse is 5. Now I cross off the negative because at this point in the game, um, your lengths of a triangle um, are always going to be positive. Actually, lengths of a triangle are always positive. The direction in which we take, if we go left, sometimes we indicate those as negative, um, especially when you get to like integrated two and three or algebra two. Okay. So our answer is five. So this is five. And I'm going to go back to my question. It says find the exact perimeter. Oh no, I did not find my perimeter. Perimeter just means add all sides. So my perimeter is going to be three plus four plus five, Ms. Johnson. Yep. So that's 12 units. So my perimeter equals 12 units. Okay. Okay, so let's go over what we did. The very first thing that we did in order to find the perimeter was we needed to find all the lengths of the sides of the triangle. So finding three was okay, right? That was fine. Finding four was okay. That's fine. But it was this quote unquote diagonal length, right? Slanted length that gives us a little bit of trouble, but no problem because we have the Pythagorean theorem here to help. So we just plug in three squared plus four squared equals hypotenuse squared. Was I really looking for the hypotenuse? Yes. So that's nine plus 16 equals hypotenuse squared, which therefore hypotenuse equals to five. And that is your answer. Oh, no, just kidding. Ha, ha, just kidding. Um, and then they asked us for our perimeter. So then the last part was you adding three sides. So whenever there's like these multi things steps, if you want to call them, um, like find the exact perimeter. And I, I usually get lost in all of those steps. I always go back to the question and say, wait, what did you ask me again? 
oh, you asked me for perimeter. Wait, I didn't find perimeter. That's no problem. So a lot of students will forget, they get so in the mix of like solving an equation and they forget like, wait, what are they actually asking? Always go back and just check just so that you are confident in submitting this answer. All right, have a great day.